Hi, and welcome to our first edition of Face Palm Friday, which essentially covers various health and fitness related things on the web that make me go. So today's topic is something that became popular maybe three or four years ago, and it's a concept that's called fit to fat to fit. You see, there were certain trainers who managed to attain celebrity status by doing this. In the beginning, they are in extremely good shape. They have a great physique. And then for a few weeks, they essentially go on an, on an all out bench where they gain about 20 to 35 pounds, lose all that definition, that physique, in fact, actually show up with a pot belly. And then in a few weeks after that, they go ahead and lose it all back and end up looking great and shredded. And the message that is communicated is, I sacrifice my physique for the benefit of my clients and my followers. And if I could gain so much weight and lose it all back in such a short time, I can help you do the same. And of course, a lot of obese people would see this and say, oh, if this person could drop weight this fast and become lean, maybe that person can help me as well. So let me go sign up. Basic problem, because it goes against all the science that I've explained in terms of leptin. And I do hope you have watched my videos on leptin and the fat paradox series. So let's see things from the perspective of this individual's physiology. Let's assume this person is at about 165 pounds and absolutely lean and muscular. What you need to understand is their body has adapted to leptin levels at that particular weight and is perfectly happy. Now let's say for a few weeks they go on an absolute calorie overload. What is going to happen? The leptin levels are going to jump. They are now going to enjoy all the benefits of the jump in metabolism that comes along with it. In addition, they can take advantage of an anabolic or growth effect that comes with this do a lot of weight training and also pack on muscle underneath all the flap that they are adding. So the positive for them is they have come out of this weight gain phase with more muscle mass and a higher metabolic rate. And here's the kicker. Let's say they have gained enough weight to now be 195 pounds, but their body was at a leptin set point of about 165 just a few weeks ago. So it has no problems going back down to that level. In addition, it's going to be easier this time around because the extra muscle mask has also automatically boosted their metabolism. There is a direct correlation between the total amount of muscle you carry and your overall metabolism. So they essentially start cutting calories, add in exercise, obviously record all of that on their vlogs, and in no time, they are back to their original shredded selves. And there is nothing special about this. Bodybuilders and physique competitors have been doing this for decades, where through most of the year, they'll actually look bulky or almost fat because that is the time that they are using to maximize their muscle growth. And then a few weeks before they step on the stage or they get into a photo shoot, they start cutting down and are shredded just in time for the actual event. But here's the problem. This does not apply to an obese individual who has been at about 200 pounds for the last few years. Your leptin set point is at 200. So the moment you start to drop weight, at some point immediately, your body is going to correct for it and your plateaus are going to kick in. So in effect, the difference between the two scenarios is you had an individual who was at a lower leptin set point, temporarily went higher, took all the metabolic advantages of it and came back down while you're starting at a much higher set point and you, it's not going to be easy for you to drop with it. So here is the final point and that is what concerns me. Is it that these trainers truly understand the science, know what is going on and yet aren't explaining it to you? Or is it that they don't understand the science at all and just assume that, well, if I was able to do that, I simply need to sell that as a program to others and they should see the same results as well. The choice, unfortunately, and the results that come with it are left to you. If you've enjoyed the way Trulene presents the science behind fat loss, health and fitness, please like, subscribe and do share these videos.